Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. Today I'll be demonstrating the specimen collection procedure from upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract which includes oropharyngeal specimen collection and nasopharyngeal specimen collection. For collecting a sample from throat and nasopharynx we need a transparent plastic bag, nasopharyngeal swab, oropharyngeal swab, VTM, tongue depressor, marker pen, face shield and tissue paper. For collecting a sample from throat and nasopharynx, we need a sterile cotton swab that are made up of artificial cotton and flexible plastic shaft. Do not use calcium originate swab or wooden shaft swab as these materials may inactivate the viral particles and inhibit the PCR test. VTM contains some nutrients for the stability of virus and some antibiotics to inhibit the bacterial growth. A healthcare profession should wear appropriate PPE while sampling, which includes a protective gown, face shield or goggles, mask and gloves. Before collecting patient's sample, we have to write patient's detail on the VTM, which is the important step. Patient's detail include patient's name, date of birth, date and time, identification number of hospital or laboratory. Let's just begin with oropharyngeal specimen collection. First of all, make the patient comfortable and ask the patient uh, that the smear will feel uncomfortable and it may trigger the gag reflex. Ask the patient to sit on a chair in a comfortable position. Tell the patient to remove his mask. Hold the swab like a pen in your thumb, index finger and middle finger. Tilt the patient's head back. Ask the patient to open his mouth. Depress the patient's tongue with the depressor. Insert the swab in the oral cavity and collect the sample from back of the throat. Slowly rubbing scrubbing the oropharyngeal wall insert the swab in the VTM there is a breaking point on the shaft so it breaks easily one important thing i want to uh, tell you guys that whenever you are inserting the swab in oral cavity do not touch the swab with hard palate soft palate tongue lips or teeth as these areas are colonized with microbes so now let's just take a nasopharyngeal specimen insert the swab in left or right nostril maintain a course between both septum floor of the nose palate to the palate do not adverse the swab upward instead of that straight back until resistance is felt when the swab reaches the posterior nasopharynx at this point leave the uh, swab for a few seconds in adult, it corresponds a travel distance of 5 to 6 inches or 2 centimeters. Slowly rotate the swab and remove the swab. Insert the swab in the VTM. Break the shaft. <clears throat> Cover the VTM with tissue paper. Insert the VTM in the plastic bag. And now we send the VTM to the laboratory for RT PCR testing. This is it, guys. This was a complete specimen collection procedure from throat and nasopharynx. I hope you guys like this video and this video was useful to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please. Subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. If you did already, thank you so much for that. Take care of yourself and your family. Stay safe.
बाय एवरीवन